Hello everyone. Today we will see estimation of flood discharge. Before going into detail, let us see the definition of flood and causes of flood. Flood may be defined as an overflow coming from some river or from some other body of water. Now, river may get flooded due to excessive rainfall or excessive melting of snow or our river may get flooded due to some other form of ice obstruction in the form of jam. The next reason for the flood is the flood may be caused by failure of some dam with huge amount of water causing considerable damage to life and property. However, the water overflows the bank of river, the river is said to be flooded. On important river, arbitrary representation, warning and dangerous level are generally assigned at important location called as flood stages. Now, what are the different types of flood? The first type of flood is a design flood. A design flood is the flood discharge adopted for the design of a structure after carefully consideration of economic and hydrologic factor. Next type of flood is the ordinary flood. The flood that are sure to be equaled in magnitude once or more time in the estimated life of project. Third type of flood is the standard project flood. The flood that is likely to be exceed in magnitude only at rare occasion and thus constitute a standard for design of structure that would provide enough flood protection. Next type of flood, it is the probable maximum flood. The flood might be occur under the worst meteorological and hydrological condition. Okay, now how we estimate or how the estimation of design flood and flood flow. The various method which are generally used for determining the flood flow are as follow and we will see it step by step. First of all, we see the first method. The first method it is by means of empirical formulas. Now, the first empirical formula is the Dikens formula. Dikens made the first attempt in India to derive a general formula for determining maximum flood on the basis of study conducted for determining water waste capacity for bridges. His formula is generally used for the catchment of northern and central part of India. It states that Qp is equals to C into A raised to the power 3 by 4, where Qp is equals to the high flood or the peak discharge in Qmec, A is the catchment area in square kilometer and C is a constant. Now for India, the value of C, it is ranges between 6 to 28. For the northern Indian plain, the value is 6 and for the western heart of India, the value it is ranges up to 28. The next formula is the Ravens formula. It is developed for the Tamil Nadu region, some parts of Andhra Pradesh and some part of Karnataka. It states that Qp is equal to C1 into A raised to the power 2 by 3 where as we know C is the constant. Now in this case it is the Ravitz constant and the const value of it is for India it is ranges between 6.8 to 40. Area within the 80 km from the east code the value is 6.8 and the actual observed value it is up to 40. The next formula it is the Ignis formula. It is derived in 1930. The formula is based on flood data of catchment in western ghats in Maharashtra. It is thus 
applicable to fan shaped catchment in old bombay state it is expressed as qp is equals to 123a upon under root of a plus 10.4 it is in cumic it is also equals to 123 under root of a where a is the area in square kilometer the next formula it is the nawab jang bahadur formula this formula has been derived for hyderabad deccan catchment and it state that qp is equals to c into a1 raised to the power in bracket 0.93 minus in bracket 1 upon 14 bracket complete log a1 and whole bracket it is complete where the c it is a constant having a value of about 49 for south india and 60 for north india a1 is the area in square miles and if you want to convert it into square kilometer then a1 is equals to 0.39 into a1 which is the area in square kilometer this formula is widely used in a maharashtra for designing in a small catchment next formula is the jarvis formula which state that qp is equals to c under root of a it is a measurement of discharge in cumic so where c varies between 1.77 as minimum and 177 as a maximum limiting or 100 percent chance floods are given by the value of c of 177 the next type or next formula is the rational formula this is the oldest and best known formula that has been extensively used for designing storm sewer and was earlier stated by qp is equals to 1 upon 36 into k into pc into a where k is the percentage of rainfall that become surface runoff called as runoff coefficient pc is the critical rainfall intensity in centimeter per hour generally taken as the average rate during the time of concentration tc and can be determined from the intensity duration curve for the given frequency flood a is the catchment area in hectare the next formula it is the fuller's formula this formula was derived for the catchment of usa and is a typical one of this kind and it state that qtp is equals to cf into a raised to the power 0.8 multiplied by 1 plus 0.8 log t where qtp it is the peak 24 hour flood with frequency of t years in meter cube per second a is the catchment area in kilometer square and cf is the fueler constant with the value varying between 0.18 to 1.88 now in this video we have seen the different formulas now in the next video we will see the determination of peak flood discharge by using envelope curves for more theory you can refer the book that is irrigation engineering and hydraulic structure by s a girl thank you